What's up, everybody? I recently made a provocatively titled YouTube video. It was called, Is the Catholic Church Gay? And I received some good uh, feedback and criticism below. Uh, obviously, if you make a video called, Is the Catholic Church Gay? You're going to receive criticism from two groups of people. You're going to receive uh, criticism from Catholics and from gays, right? So I did. And uh, so I just want to talk about two pieces of criticism that I received, one of which was quite good um, from a Catholic. Uh, and he said, basically, oh, it's not quite so simple. It's a lot more complex than that. You can't just look at two churches and be like, well, one's gay and one isn't, so hoo -hoo, one's better. Um, I totally agree. And that was a bit of a tongue-in-cheek kind of thing in the video. I intended the main serious point to be taken from the video. Um, uh, I, the main point I wanted to, to put across in the video was that I don't think Catholics should look at that letter from the Pope and kind of like explain if I had a way, think it's no big deal, whatever, because that's exactly what the Republican and Libertarian parties have been doing for the last couple decades while their parties slide further and further to the left. Um, so, yeah. That was the main point, and, and obviously, so, yeah, it's a bit of an oversimplification to be like, well, the Catholic Church is gay and, and the Orthodox Church isn't. Well, they both have issues, uh, and I think, obviously, if you're a traditional Catholic and you want to restore the Catholic Church to its former glory, you want to make the Catholic Church great again, then, of course, by all means, uh, then you should do so. And, by the way, I'm not a Catholic. I'm just making this video because it's a fun thing to talk about. I'm also not gay, which brings me to my next... Uh, the next piece of feedback I received, which actually I think is totally invalid, I think it's based on a, a really blatant, obvious straw man uh, fallacy. The person says uh, something along the lines of, oh, uh, obviously uh, not all gay men live the same way. Why would you say that? All right, I'll give you $1 million if you can find the part in the video where I said that. All that I said, and I, I mentioned in the video, I mentioned something called the typical modern gay lifestyle. Right. Uh, that, of course, does not imply that I'm pretty sure even the majority of gay men don't live that way. And, and by that way, when I say the typical modern gay lifestyle, I mean um, the gay party scene in, in D.C. and San Francisco and, and P-Town. Basically, you're, you're talking about massive amounts of drugs. There are studies done on this. I'm not just making this up. You can go and look up the studies. I'm talking hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of different sexual partners. I'm talking about massive, uh, massively high drug consumption and drinking and uh, just lots of... Just basically what the Catholic Church would consider to be a very degenerate and unrepentant lifestyle. And obviously, in the spirit of that letter that the Pope recently wrote, uh, he does not intend for priests to be blessing people who are totally unrepentant and, and sort of promoting that really uh, degenerate lifestyle. Um, yet, Catholics are kind of like, oh, whatever, the letter's not really big deal. The Pope writes that letter, and like, like the next day, a gay priest in San Francisco goes and blesses the marriage of one of those people who are living a really, obviously, a sort of a really, like, raunchy, stereotypical, uh, modern gay lifestyle. Now, obviously, I, now, I, I don't need to repeat myself again and say I didn't say what I didn't say, because obviously you can watch the video, I didn't say it. Um, all I can say is, if you watch my video and you come up with some crazy weird thing that I didn't even say in the video, you're obviously, your emotional state is way too heightened to be able to watch my videos, because you, you're getting triggered at nothing, and that's just crazy. Uh, furthermore, this, this uh, person said in the comments, something along the lines of the transphobic, racist, homophobic stuff that the Telegram algorithm feeds me, which is interesting. Uh, I would say that there isn't really an algorithm in Telegram like there is on Twitter and Facebook. There's literally an AI that decides what you get to see in those news feeds. Telegram, you maybe he doesn't know how it works, maybe he doesn't have it, but you just subscribe to channels. And how do you find new channels? Well, other channels that you are subscribed to will share content from other channels and you'll see that you know, there is not an algorithm that's deciding what you see. You actually have to, that's why it kind of gets annoying when you subscribe to a whole lot of different channels. You have to actually scroll through a whole bunch of them on your list to see what you want to see. So it's kind of interesting. This guy thinks that the, uh, the algorithm is brainwashing me on Telegram with uh, transphobic and um, uh, homophobic stuff. Now, I would mention, again, the use of the, of the phobic uh, suffix on the word implies that you have, it actually literally means that you have an irrational fear or something. If you're, uh, what is the word? arachnophobia, that means you have an irrational fear of spiders, right? Now, I don't have an irrational fear of gay men. Um, I don't have an irrational fear of, of um, transgender men. Uh, it's just a weird thing to say at the bottom of my video. So I hope that the man who left that comment, I hope you, uh, you take some time to reflect on your emotional state and wonder why you're watching my video and 
reading all these things from it that I didn't say at all. I'm really kind of talking about Catholics who prefer their church to say traditional and the various implications of this letter that the Pope wrote and things like that. So um, that's all I got to say, folks. Thank you so much for your thoughtful comments below my videos, and I hope you continue to write such things in the future, even if they're vitriolic and resulting from a heightened emotional state. That's still okay. That's how we grow and learn. Have a great day.